So learning target 1.14 asked you to um, know the difference between nuclear reactions and chemical reactions, specifically about the energy of those two. So a couple things we need to understand about these two uh, reactions. So nuclear reactions and chemical reactions. So nuclear are very high energy. They are dealing with the energy inside the nucleus. So we're talking about the nuclear force, which is a huge force compared to chemical reactions, which are low energy. Okay? The nuclear reaction deals with the nucleus and the energy stored in the nucleus. The chemical reactions talk about electrons and the, the energy stored in sharing and transferring electrons. Nuclear reactions you usually can associate with that huge bomb. Remember the atomic bomb and the mushroom cloud that it caused? That was a nuclear reaction. A chemical reaction is or a chemical um, energy in a chemical fire or some, something that's a chemical uh, energy would be something more like a fire. So if we're thinking of a fire, what would you rather be caught in? A fire at a, at a campsite or a huge nuclear bomb? Okay, This is much higher energy than the low energy of a chemical reaction. And it has to do with where they're deriving their energy. Nuclear comes from the nucleus and chemical comes from electrons. Individual example. Reactions A and B take place and are described below. In reaction A, a ball of sodium is dropped into a cup of water. And in reaction B, a uranium uh, atom or nucleus is split into a sm smaller nuclei, nucleus. Which of these two reactions will release more energy and why? So pause the video here and try it. Okay, so the first thing to realize is we have two reactions, A and B. Reaction A is dropping sodium into a cup of water. Reaction B is splitting uranium. Okay? So first we need to figure out which is what type of reaction they are. So dropping sodium into water, that is a chemical reaction. Uranium splitting into something smaller probably something like thorium is a, a nuclear reaction. We know this because of the word split, splitting into something. That is decaying or breaking apart. We are releasing the energy in the nucleus. That's the important part, knowing that the nucleus is where the energy is coming from. When you drop sodium into water, which is the chemical reaction, it, cr it starts... It catches fire, but there is no splitting of a, of a nucleus. It's all happening on the electron level, on the outer shell of the atoms. It's not breaking apart um, the nucleus. Okay, and the last thing we need to apply is the thing that we just learned, and that is that a nuclear, the energy in a nuclear reaction is much, much greater than a chemical reaction. Okay, and we're talking about energy again. Okay, so the important thing to realize is that the nuclear has much more energy than a chemical reaction. Therefore, which one will release more energy? We should know this one, the nuclear reaction. So there's a little check mark for nuclear. Okay, nuclear will definitely give off more energy. So splitting a uranium a uh, atom will definitely be more energy. In fact, that's what they did to um, end World War II with the atomic bomb.